If you want to know how to convert your handwritten notes into typed text, then this video is for you. We will talk about how you can convert it from your handwriting note-taking apps into typed text, but more importantly, how you can convert your paper handwritten notes into typed text. So they become available for you to use in emails, on your Evernote or any other tools that you want to use. Also, if you are using a Remarkable and you are fed up with the handwriting to text conversion where you have to pay extra for the subscription, this video is also for you on how to convert your handwriting on the Remarkable into typed text on any other device. Why do you want to have this? Well, your notes become editable. You can save a lot of time by just converting it instead of just typing it over. And I'm sure many of you are aware of this already. You can go into your handwriting note-taking apps like Apple Notes, Notability, GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Nibu, and you can write down your notes and then simply convert them into a text. And if you want to learn more about the handwriting note-taking apps, there's a video for you that I already created that shows you all the differences. And another way how you can use handwriting to text conversion on the iPad actually is the new scribble feature. What this allows you is you can use your Apple Pencil and write into all the text fields on your iPad. For example, if you search for something, you don't have to put away your Apple Pencil and then type into the keyboard. You just write it into the search field and you will find the application you're looking for looking for, you tap on it, you open it. This would be one use case. Not all the apps support this, so I would love to see this in Google Docs or Microsoft Word. The other advantage is being in the Apple ecosystem, you can take your notes on any handwriting note-taking application, convert it to text and copy it to clipboard, and then go to your Mac and paste it in there. This is a feature that I use for many situations. But now let's talk about how we can actually convert your handwritten notes on paper into typed text. It's not an easy task to do as most applications focus on type text. So if you scan documents like I do with the Raven scanner or if you scan them to Evernote, this works usually very well. There are loads of applications in the App Store that you can use to convert your documents into type text. The issue is this focus really on type text, not on handwritten text. So before we dive into the solution, I want to share with you the results I found with applications that I found in the App Store. We will start with the mobile scanner. It scans, it recognizes, but it gives me just random letters. That same is for Scanner Pro. Same, didn't recognize anything at all. Then I checked out TextGrabber, very interesting application that has even real-time text recognition and gives you a translation. But again, it even said that there is no text on this image that I scanned there. And finally, I used pen to print and this worked the best out of all the things that I've used. But again, we had some mistakes in there and it was a bit buggy to use. I think there's a much better solution for you. And what this is, we will find out in this video. So first off, we will start with the Google Docs solution. How this works is very straightforward. You just take a picture and load it to your Google Drive. In Google Drive, you will just say open with Google Docs and it will open it up in Google Docs. You see on top the image and below you see the text. I'm using Grammarly. I really recommend installing this in this case because if the conversion is not right, it makes it much easier to spot the mistakes and just with one click correct them. However, it's pretty cumbersome. I have to reorder the text and so on because it's just one line of text that it's converting there. Delete the image afterwards. Okay, and here we go into the great solution now. If you follow this channel, then you know I talked about Rocketbook already. And Rocketbook is actually, you have a QR code, you write on this and when you finish, you can scan it with the Rocketbook application and it will convert it into searchable text and it can forward it to so many locations like Evernote or via email or via Slack and so on. And you can do this by simply tagging down there, it will automatically forward it to the destination you want it to be. Then you can just clean and wipe this clean and you can reuse it. However, in my opinion, Rocketbook doesn't feel that great to write on because when I'm using paper, then I'm using it due to the sensation of paper, using a fountain pen or using a pencil to really sketch something out and so on that I want to digitize later on. So I thought, why not leveraging the power of Rocketbook, the application, and scan this way paper notes. So I prepared a note here where I also made a custom code, which was not recognized by any of the other tools that I tested this note with. 
but it was recognized by Rocketbook and this showed me just how accurate it is. And the other advantage is that it also recognized bullet points and so on. So how do I get this in? Because the application is focusing on this QR code. So it doesn't recognize any normal paper to scan in. I ripped out a Rocketbook paper and I cut it out. And this way I can now put this onto my node and this just works perfectly. Now I can scan this node and it uses the Rocketbook handwriting recognition and it transcribes this text. And now I can send it to Google Drive in the settings of the Rocketbook app. I can even say it should create a Google Doc out of this with the transcribed text. And now guess what? Yes, it creates a Google Doc without any image in it. It creates a text, it creates the bullet points. Everything is there as it was on my note already available as plain text and I think this is awesome. It works the same way with Evernote for example or you can send it directly via email and it will use the text on your note as the body of the email and send it directly to you or to anybody else you want to send it to. The other thing that I did, we have this small rocket book as well, so I cut out a small frame. So this allows me now to just frame a small part of the note that I want to scan. It works perfectly as well. And now guess what? This is the solution for the remarkable. The opportunity the company missed here is providing handwriting to text conversion. So this means when you write something down there, it's not searchable. If you're using an iPad and handwriting note taking app, all your notes become searchable. This means when you're looking for anything, just type in the word and it will show you the note where you have written this in. This is not possible on Remarkable. The only thing is if you pay a subscription in addition to the initial price for the Remarkable, then do you have handwriting to text conversion, but only to send one note out via email and it will do a handwriting to text conversion on this way. Check out the other video where I made that I made about Remarkable where I went into much more detail about this. But what you can do now, well, you guessed it already, I guess. You just use the Rocketbook frame and you can scan it in with your Rocketbook application and it will convert the note that you have there easily. And now I show you something that optimizes this workflow, which is this thing here. You have the perfect distance to your notes. You just use your iPhone with the Rocketbook application open. You put it on there, it has automatic scan Again, place your note and the frame that I cut out there just on top of it and it will scan and now I can swipe through the rocket book in order to scan all the notes automatically. I'll put the links for all the stuff into the description below. Check this out and if you decide that you tick one of these symbols here on Rocketbook, you can automatically send it to Evernote, G Drive, whatever you set up there. Another tip that I want to give you, don't Tick it off. There's no need. You just a piece of whatever and you just put it on top of the symbol that sends this note to the location that you set up to and it will work this way as well. So this means you can just move it around and then easily switch the destinations this node should be sent to. And I think this is awesome. If you think this is awesome, let me know in the comments below, share it with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about how to go digital, how to leverage your notes in the best way possible, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the Paperless Movement membership where we go a lot deeper into how you can leverage your digital world. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you up next time.